I saw a need because they were cutting music programs in the schools, and I uh, I used to personally at least music and the arts to uh, escape some really horrible situations, and I think a lot of our kids can create opportunities for themselves by being involved in arts. The the Polo Center has brought me from a long way because I, I could have gone a different route and like probably done something bad. I believe that the kids that participate with us are like really heroes and they become like role models for everyone in the community. You know, I don't think people wake up in the morning or uh, are born to be bad, but if they have nothing good to do, they, they drift in that direction. And when people that are in uh, communities without opportunities see kids moving forward and doing positive things, they become cheerleaders. Many people have told me that I made a mistake choosing trumpet because it's like one of the hardest instruments out there. But I really, I really enjoy the trumpet. Like once you get used to it, it's like a beautiful thing. So right now the foundation funds instruments and gear for you know underfunded schools, underfunded programs. We choose about 30 to 50 programs each quarter. Um, so that's up quite a bit from, from the past, thanks to the Roundup and thanks to our customers who are you know, willing to round up their change and help us out. So 100% of all the Roundup goes back into the communities where the stores are, where, we, you know, where, where, where everybody lives. They provided instruments for us, and not only here, but in my neighborhood in Chicago. The, the area is so um, terrible. In what it, well, it's terrible because there's not a lot of hope. But when you bring instruments and opportunities in, the violence goes down and people have things to look forward to and uh, it just changes everything for those people. Outside of playing the trumpet, like he's taught me like how to be like a good person, how to be kind to other people, just like how he is with the kids here. Music is important because it strips down all barriers. Uh, you don't have to be rich, you, you just have to work hard. Uh, it just, your gender doesn't matter, your sexuality, your race. If you can get on the stage and perform, that's all people care about. The main purpose and vision of the foundation is to be able to give the opportunity to people to participate in music who don't have the wherewithal themselves to be able to do that. So that we're making sure that the donations are going to places where people, kids in particular, um, have that opportunity to have music be part of their lives. Here in New Orleans, uh, the importance of music and what it does to tie the fabric of the, of the city together, uh, it's what it's all about. Uh, there would not be this place and the energy, the feeling, the vibe, um, and frankly, even the, the economy if it wasn't for music. Without the instrument though, that's the thing that has really given this, this band the opportunity to really be able to come back. Music is not supposed to be, you know, worksheets. It's, it's an organic experience that you feel, you live, and you just, you do it. Like, you, you have to feel it. But without an instrument, how do you do any of that? Well, foundation's uh, core purpose is simply to uh, be able to put more music in people's hands, uh, within schools, within anywhere that there's missing, uh, the, missing the ability to give instruments or be able to have access to music.